Hi folks and welcome to the final video in our series of tutorials for the Jordan Home Mining and Construction Economy Map. I'm Species7 and it's been my pleasure to be your host for this series. Today we are going to look at the last couple of e economic boons for your map which deal with the road construction. The first is this facility here. If you add water and you add sand and gravel at the appropriately marked triggers, what you produce is a road bedding. Now, I will be honest with you, it seems there is some issue as to what the English translation for this might be, but tout venant is what we are producing here. And this material can be loaded into your Ponzi dumper, or if you find a similar modified dumper that will take the materials, it goes out to the same road construction that we took the water from up in our recycle to. And you'll find two tip points out there. One of them will accept that. The other, if we go down the hill, I'll show you that particular facility, is for asphalt. And the asphalt is also a combination of ingredients and, of course, some time. And that particular facility is over here, where our Ponzi tipper is. What we do here to create asphalt is taking coal into here, and then putting gravel and sand, once again, into this part of the facility, and putting tar in here, we can create asphalt. Now, tar. Aha! This is something we have not dealt with. So I will go to our little vehicular map here, and we're going to jump over to this guy. This is the refinery, and if we look in our map, you'll see we are way, way up in the top right-hand corner. This refinery will produce for us tar and fuel. So, rather nice. And the tar you get over here. So, one thing, we are using the Coat Universal trailer once again. So, one thing you do need to uh, keep in mind... Oh, by the way, to produce, you can dump your um, uh, rapeseed here. Canola. So, there you are. Um, again, no, when you drive in, be careful, because the Universal Coat trailers do work off the Universal Process Kit, which means that should you drive over, say, this trigger, you will pick up diesel fuel. <laughs> and then, of course, you won't be able to pick up your tar. So, there you go. And here's our biodiesel from the canola. Now, when we go here, I'm not sure that we have much left, but we'll see. And again, this trailer is included in the mod pack pack for the map. And as you can see, as soon as I got over the trigger, it filled up with what was available as... Um, I kind of think that might say motor oil, but that is our tar. So there you go. Once you have a trailer full of that, you can drive back to the mine. And again, with a Ponzi tipper, simply back under the big green silo onto this trigger. and fill up with asphalt. There you go, 46, 47. There you go. And that also goes out to the road construction, right above field 34. And that, guys, short tutorial although it is, We'll end our series here. So before I go, I would like to give a big shout out to Nonis Mersan, who is the author of this map, and the one that put this amazing facility together, as well as, of course, the construction areas, the road construction, and all of these other wonderful little economic boosts that we have for this map. Again, I've been Species 7. I do hope these tutorials have helped you people to get through this map and a little better understanding of the mechanics of it, how the processes work, and indeed some of the equipment used. Take care of each other, folks.
that's all for this tutorial series. Goodbye for now.